Hey there, Coach Devin here. I realized something the other day, and it is something that I've known a long time, uh, but it's, it's, you know, it's a little bit hard to talk about in some ways because it's not maybe the most flattering thing about me. I love exercise. I think everybody knows I love exercise. I talk about exercise. This is what I do for a living. Uh, somebody once said to me, a client of mine who's a, a therapist said, uh, you know, what's interesting about you is you've taken all your issues and you've made it a career. And that that's true. That's very true. And what I want to talk about today is the fact that I'm an addict. I am 100% addicted to exercise. Now, you might look at me and go, oh, okay, that's crazy. What? Addicted to exercise? I'm going to explain this to you. And maybe you'll understand a little bit better about where I'm coming from and the fact that this is... You know, in a way, like fitness is great, but it also can be a negative. Uh, so, give you an idea. So, back in January, I decided, okay, I'm going to do some cardio every morning. Um, I just get on the bike, ride the bike, and I'm going to, you know, answer my emails. Because it's better than sitting on the, you know, the, the counter, or, you know, sitting at the island and answering my emails. Why not answer them on a bike? And I'm going to burn some calories while I do it. That'll be good for me, right? That's a great idea. So, I thought, okay, I did that. I'm burning, like... 150, 200 calories. I'm like, I'm riding along. <laughs> it's not an aggressive ride. It's not a difficult ride. It's just me riding a bike. Not going fast, get a little tiny bit sweaty, stretch when I'm done, I'm out the door. That was the plan. And you know what? That, that plan stuck. But over time, things start to creep up. And this is where being an addict comes in. So it starts at like 150 calories. I'm like, you know, 150 calories. I'm going to ride that bike, 150 calories. And then the next day, you know, I'm like, eh, I'm going to do a little bit more. And, uh, and next thing you know, I'm saying, okay, you know what? I think I should shoot for 200 calories. Every day I should do 200 calories. And uh, not surprisingly, that changed too. And, you know, about three or four weeks ago, I realized, you know what? I went from 150 calories as a nice calm ride on a way to get ready wake myself up, answer my emails, do something productive, turned into 200 calories. And that 200 calories then jumped up after that, get to, you know, 210, 215. Can I do 250? Maybe I can do 250. It's all in 20 minutes, right? I'm only going to do 20 minutes. My rule is 20 minutes. And you know what? I'm always going to do 20 minutes. So suddenly it's bumping up. And it's, it's suddenly I'm like the Guns N' Roses song. I used to do a little bit, a little bit, and do it, and a little got more and more. I just keep trying to get a little better, just a little better than before. That song is about drug use, right? It's about being an addict and, and, and being addicted and, and just doing, I'm, I'm going to do a little and a little is good. And then it turns into a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And next thing you know, you're out of control. Well, this morning, actually, I had a moment yesterday uh, with my friend Cameron. Cameron trains with me. Cameron's gotten very fit. Uh, he went from, you know, being not fit at all. I met him. He got a lot more fit um, and then decided, hey, I want to walk around with abs all the time. He you know, does that. We created a whole program called Project Fit. Uh, it was Project Fit Cam. He lost all this. You know, he lost like 21 pounds. Looks like a million bucks. He's maintained it for we're going on almost two years now. It's great. And he said, you know what? I see you every morning on, on your Instagram stories and you're just pouring sweat. What happened to the 150 calories taking your time? And I was like, oh, you know what? I kind of I kind of like ch the challenge now. And I'm pushing a little bit harder. And he's like, I, I can see you're pushing a little bit harder. Why? And I'm like, I don't really have an answer for that. I just don't. I don't have an answer for it. Why do I suddenly think that I need to do 300? Because that's what I'm up to now. It started at 150. Then it was 200. Then 225. Then 250. The last three or four days, I've been doing 300 calories. And it's a grind. I am working my ass off. No two ways around it. I'm busting my butt. 300 calories in 20 minutes is not easy. My legs feel like they will blow up when I'm done. And I am soaked. And I mean soaked with sweat. Like down to my, you know, mid, almost my waist is a different color. Because I am pouring sweat. If I have a gray shirt on, it is just soaked by the end of it. My shirts, I could wring them out. Something's wrong. Right? This is an addiction, 
an addict type behavior. This is what it is. I am an addict because I can't just do a little. I always have to do more and more. I'm always trying to up it. And one of the things that I hate about fitness is that people always are talking about do more. Do more, do more, do more, do more. And I hate that. I say to clients, don't do that. Don't fall for that. Somebody says, 1% better every single day. Okay, that's stupid. Why? Well, because 1% better every day means at the end of a month, you're 30% better. At the end of two months, you're 60% better. Heck, at the end of four months, you're 120% better? It doesn't work. It's fractional. The, you know, the, up, the, the, the one percentage better had a hard time saying that one. <laughs> the percentage better is fractional. It's small. You don't jump 1% a day. You probably jump 0.1% a day or something along those lines. It's not a big jump. It's just not. And so being a little bit better every day is, yes, it's something you should try to strive for. And you want to be better every day. If somebody wants to be better. I want to be a better parent. I want to be a better spouse. I want to be a better boss. I want to be a better business owner. I want to be a better athlete. I want to be more fit. I want to be more lean. Yes. All of that is a positive. You should do all of it, except if it's addictive behavior. And for me, mine is addictive behavior. Can I do, and I said, Cameron says to me when we were having this conversation, and he said, you're an addict. You're 100% an addict. And I said, I know, I know that. And he's like, well, you know, what, why are you, why are you grinding so hard? Why do you need 300 calories? I said, well, in reality, that's a stupid thing to do. 300 calories every day, five days a week, six days a week, dumb. Why? Because if you're grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding like that, your body can't adapt. You can't get more fit. What happens is you get less fit and then sooner or later you'll get sick. Just the way it works. Your body needs downtime. Fitness is the stimulus. So when you do cardio in the morning, when you lift weights, like Bill Parcells, why do you lift all them damn weights? When you lift weights, that's the stimulus to get you fit. It isn't what gets you fit. What gets you fit is eating healthy, sleep downtime. Those things are going to get you fit and when your body heals. How much healing is going on when you're burning 300 calories every single day or more and you're grinding like crazy and you know that's not doing anything good. And I said to Cameron, you're right, I know it. 100% I know it. And you know what, I can do that one or two days a week, but I can't do it more. It's like, but that's an epic comment right there. You know, I can do it just a little. I can do a little bit. <laughs> and that's, that's the truth. 100% of the fact I'm an addict. Why am I an addict to fitness? Because for me, I am a control freak too. And I'm not a control freak for you or you or anybody else. I'm not a control freak when it comes down to, you know, work. I'm not a control freak when it comes to other people. I'm a control freak when it comes to me. I can control me. I know I can control me. And I like the challenge of controlling me. So I go at it like nobody's business. It's not good. It's bad. It's a bad habit to get into because when I'm stressed... I work, I work harder and I work way harder. So I've had some more stress in my personal life recently. So I have geared up. That is the impetus because I can control the workload I put on myself. And you know what? I feel better. It's just like a drug. It is a hundred percent just like a drug because for me, when I push myself harder, guess what? I feel better. I feel accomplished. I feel like I can handle this now. And then the next day, got to grind at it again. And then it becomes this aggressive push, 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 push thing. And it's just like that Guns N' Roses song. I used to do a little and a little didn't do it. And a little got more and more. I'm an addict. I'm an addict for fitness. Now, how do you handle that? You got to, you have to rein that stuff back in. I, I am going to start to rein those things in tomorrow morning because I need to gear down. Otherwise, I'm going to make myself sick. Otherwise, I'm going to have problems. I need to control that. It is a fact. You can't be owned by what you do. If your work owns you and that's the only thing you care about, that's bad. If your relationship owns you and it's the only thing, it's bad. If fitness does it, if drugs do it, if alcohol does it, it's a bad thing. This is, unfortunately for me, not healthy when you're pushing it that far. So, you know, this is the first time I've ever talked about this publicly. Uh, I've always known I've had an addictive personality. I've been a personality where I, when I do something, I, I'm all in. It is all in or all out. I don't have, I don't have grays. I don't do well in grays. It's blacks and whites and go. That's kind of my personality. And that's not a healthy way to do it. If you're somebody like me, if you feel like fitness makes you better, makes you feel better, makes you happier, all those things, that's great. 
Just remember to control it. Don't let it own you. And sometimes you need to take a step back. Like I'm taking a step back right now and saying, I don't need to burn 300 calories every day. Calm the hell down, Devin. Stop being a jackass. <laughs> That's a fact. You have to gear yourself down. I know I'm going to have to in tomorrow morning. That's a promise. I will gear it down because I don't want to get sick and I don't want this to go sideways. If comments, questions, things you want me to talk about, as you can see like this today, I like to talk about things that are honest. And I'll tell you what I really think. I mean, I've been in this industry for 26 years trying to help people get more fit. The whole reason I do this YouTube channel is so I can pass on some of my knowledge, mistakes I've made, stupid stuff I do, all those things. I want to be able to pass that on because the stuff I pass on in the gym, hell, if I'm passing it on in the gym, I want to be able to pass it on to you right here, right now. And, and let it, So if you have comments, questions, or things you want me to talk about, write them up. I want to hear from you. And uh, you know what? I will answer them to the best of my ability. I may not always be right. I may not always, in reality, I may not agree with what you have to say, but you know what? I'll give honest look at what it is in fitness that I can help you with. I'm always happy to do it. Have yourself an amazing day, everybody. Don't fight the awesome.